everybody, Andy here again from Mad Lad Designs with the first video of 2022. I hope everybody's doing okay and well. And I am going to start these videos with a three-part series of my print and play games. I have this box full of them, I have another box full of them, and I also have uh, A4 sheets and booklets which I will be showing you in a subsequent video. But I'm going to go through these ones first. I'm not going to spend too long on them. I'm basically just going to show you what's in the box. I'm not going to open the box. I am going to open this box. In fact, I'll open it now. And as you can see, there are little boxes inside this one. Each one has one or more print and play games and I'm going to pick them out and show you them one by one. I'm not going to open these boxes. I'm not going to go through the cards. Uh, I'm not going to spend too long. I'm just going to show you what I have. Some of these have been on my channel. Some of them have not been on my channel. Some of them will be on my channel and possibly some of them won't be on my channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below which ones you would like to see. And um, so there's this box full. I have another box full with all these. And I, like I said, I've got booklets and sheets and other things which I will show you. I'm just scratching there in my third video. So let's start with this one here. What do we have? We have Ugly Griffin Inn and Food Chain Island, Island by Scott Arms. Um, hopefully I would like to do these on my channel at some point. I have not played these at all. I've just heard good things, so I purchased and downloaded. I've not read the instructions, not played, I've no idea. So I'm going to give those a try at some point. Next up we have Doom Machine. Again, I've not played this. I'd like to, possibly on my channel at some point. Then we have Spaceshipped. I have played that on my channel and Star Trek Murderer's Row. Murderer's Row is a little game and somebody did a Star Trek version of it. And I printed out the Star Trek version of it. So what do we have here? Some of these I cannot remember what's in them. Uh, we have six by, I don't know if you can see that, six by six tails. And uh, what's this one? Let's have a look. If I don't know them, I'm going to take a look. Um, some of these I've printed out years ago and I cannot remember. Um, I'm not going to open it, but ooh, I'm, if, if you know what that is, let me know. So that's that box. Then we have, um, I think this is Hand of Destiny, the print and play version. I have backed this on Kickstarter, so I will be getting this uh, hopefully shortly. Um, as well as two other games, Forgotten Road and uh, I can't remember the other one, <laughs> but I will actually get in the proper retail version of this, hopefully to do a video of it. It's um, it's an in the hand game like Palm Island. Uh, and then over here we have, I think it's Blog of the Midwest, I think. Uh, what's in this one? Oh, the solo system. Apparently, uh, I've not tried this yet, but apparently this you can use for almost any board game to create a AI. So if, you're, if you've got a board game that only plays two players or more, you can use this to create a solo game. Apparently, I've not played it, I've not used it, but you draw cards um, and then you decide what you think the opponent would do and then you pick from a list. I think that's how it works. Here we go. So whether the AI would choose money or whether it would attack you or that sort of thing, but apparently it's supposed to work with every game. Yes, we shall try that out sometime, but then we have Agent Decker. Again, I've not tried this, I've printed it out. I have not played it yet. Um, then we have, um, what do we have here? Something with a lot of dice. Uh, oh, Goblin Mountain. I can't remember anything about this. <laughs> I have not played it. It's been sat in the box for a while. Uh, hopefully I'll get to play it at some point. 
Then we have, uh, I'm not sure what this one is, but we shall have a look, see if it, let, see if it tells me, let's see what we have, we have, ah, dungeon construction kit, again I've not played this, I cannot remember, I've got so many to play, so little time, as we all know. So that goes in there, that can go in there, and then that can squeeze down there somewhere, I think. And then shut that. So, there we go. Dungeon construction kit. Oops, that was there, wasn't it? And then that was there. Then we have... Um, Fortune, Fame and Glory. I'll get back to that in a second. Solo Dungeon Bash. Again, I've not played this. This is my version of Fortune, Fame and Glory. The original comes in tarot sized cards. I shrunk it down for um, poker sized cards to make it easier. I have not played this. And I've not played that one neither. So all the things I have not played. Then we have Mephisto. Again, I've not played this one at all. It has solo rules there. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to see any of these. Uh, this one's mine. Es uh, the Dunfar Escape. On Board Game Geek. Uh, and I think this one is Batman Love Letter. My own version. In its own little special pouch. That's what I have there. Then we have A4 Quest. I think I've played this once a long time ago. I can't remember. Then we have Escape of the Dead 2 and uh, I think that's Deco Dice, yeah. Deco Dice is cards which have dice values printed on them and just say you were going to roll a d6, you would shuffle these, then you would take the top card, turn it over, you would go down the different dice, so you'd look for a6, and then it will give you a value. So just in case you can't roll any dice, um, you've got a stack of cards that will give you dice values. There's also a game with it which I helped create with Wes Woodbury. Put those back. Then we have Desolate. I have did a playthrough of this. Um, I'd like to do a playthrough of this again with the expansions. Because I do have... There we go. I do have... Expansion pack one and two, I think there is. So we have Desolate. And this one, I think, is just extra, extra dice for any of the games if I need them. So that is... Box one of two. The other box is just there. Like I said, if there's any particular you'd like to see me play through, leave a comment below. I'm not guaranteeing it. I may not have the time to play all of them. I just thought I would show you how I store my games. I got this from Hobbycraft in the UK. So you might be able to get it in the UK from Hobbycraft. It's ideal for holding small print and play games. And I have two boxes worth of them, so I've printed out quite a lot. So join me in the next video when I will show you box number two. But until then, I will catch you all later.